we're on section 3-6. This is one of the, people find this difficult because of fractions and decimals. It doesn't have to be difficult. You have to remember your basic principles in fractions, clearing the denominators. And then you need to remember that when you multiply by 100, you can clear a decimal place of two decimal you know, spots and that kind of thing. So your basics are coming into play here. Um, if you're weak on your basics, go back and practice them. So right here, number two, on page, oh, we forgot to put the page number down. This is page 140. Can you put 140 up there? On page 140, number two, it reads 5D minus 2 thirds equals 1 third D. Now, in fractions purposes, let's just put 1 on the bottom, just for fractional purposes. So what, what is it now? We've got 1, 3, and 3. What's the common denominator? What number could we multiply each of those by, and that would just then cancel out the bottom? Yes, Raman. Three. Three is right. And let's do it in a different, you want to do it in black if you can just make it nice. See, this is tricky. You got to, there you go, like that, like that. I'm going to do the first one. Notice how I'm doing that, folks? Right beside, I'm basically multiplying three times five over one D. This one, right, Charlie? Three goes into three how many times? Once. Once. All right, and three goes into three how many times here? One time. So, what's left over? 3 times 5D equals what? 15. 15D. You can go ahead and write this down. Then this is equal to minus 2. Right? You'll, we'll do some more. And this equals 1D. Okay? Again, see how nicely that just, we wrap that up? We rolled that bowling ball down at 3. We rolled it, bang. Rolled it, knocked that bottom out, knocked that bottom out. They're gone, right? And 15D minus 2 equals D, now we're home free, almost. Let's subtract D on both sides. We just learned how to do that, right, Adam? Finish the problem, Adam. Subtract D on both sides. What do you get? 15D minus D equals? Okay, 15D minus D. Uh, this part's zero, yeah, that part's zero. But 15D minus D, 15D minus 1D, maybe that helps you. 14D, good job. 14D minus 2 equals zero. Yeah, now, remember, we have D minus D or equal to zero, as Adam said. Now, what do we do on both sides? Adam, continue to focus. Um, you divide, uh, so, no, you do the opposite of negative two. You would add, add two, two yeah. right? So we are, then we get 14D equals two, and Raman's going to finish it off. 14D equals two. 14D equals two, and then don't you divide? Divide by what? Divide by... 14. That's right, and I'm going to do it in, and we're running out of place, we're going to put it up here, okay? 14D equals 2. We, yeah, it will be equal, no, D will be over to 1, 7. Yeah. Is when you, yeah. There you go, good job. Are you getting that wrong? Are we getting that? To, D equals 1 over 7 to make it nice. You're following the rest, right? It's just that first trick that you're yeah, doing. We'll go over it again. Okay, so we're going to box that. You're getting a good job on that? Hello. Okay, we're doing number 10 now. Uh, this question... A little bit harder because the denominators are a little more complicated. We have 3 in the bottom and 15 on the bottom. Uh, we're not really worried about that. That has over 1. Now, 1 is pretty invisible. It doesn't really affect anything. So, And this is over 1 as well. So that's not going to affect anything. The denominators that are going to bother is 3 and 15. So what number? Here's the toughest thing about this question. But well, once you have it, everything rolls right on through. Exactly. You pick the right weight bowling ball. You roll it down. You nail, you're going to get all those pins, right? Okay. Yes, Raman, do you know what that number is? A special number. Not too big, not too small, just big enough so that when it rolls on through, it cancels out the bottom of all the denominators. That's the one we're looking for. Raman, right? Wouldn't it be 15? Because 15. Right on the money, buddy. 15. Right on the money. Why, why Raman? Well, well, because 3 times 5, 3, three all 3 goes to 15. Yeah, 3 goes into 15, and of course 15 goes into 15. Yeah. One way to look at it is you've got 3 and 15, and that both goes into it. So let's do it. We're going to put this little one here. This is going to be 15 here. Okay, Larry, you got that? Yep. Don't worry. you got to write it here too. Or remember, this thing has got to multiply by every single part of the question. You can't just roll it down and only hit part of it. It has to be at all parts of this question. So now, exactly like Raman said, first of all, we're not worried about that. 15 times 1 equals what, Alan? 15. 15. Okay, so that part's not too hard, but can you write it a little lower because it's going to get in the way of this. So 15. Minus yeah. 10y, right? Um, yeah, minus 3 goes into 15. Yes, exactly. 3 goes into 15, cancels, and 3 into 15. Um, yeah, cross the 15 out into 3. And it, 5 times. And then we're left with, now look, the 3 and the 15 5 times, we're left with negative 5 times 2. Can you see that, Cairo? Negative 5 times 2 is equal to what? Negative 10. 
negative 10 y, don't forget the y, okay? That could be a bit of a problem for some people. It gets a little messy here because negative 5 times 2 is 10 y, okay? Now over here, 15 times 23, big number. I hope somebody knows how to get that. Anybody got it already? Who's proactive? Who's already calculated that? 15 times 23, somebody? 45 plus 37. 345. What is it? 345. 345. Good job. 345. And then minus 15 into 15. How many times, Keeper? One. That's right. So this cancels with that once. And what's left over, Alexis? We get minus, what's, what's left y. over? Minus y, exactly. You, she's got it. Right. Good, good reading. Um, now we're left with solving that equation like we normally do. And we've got to do it, Jonathan. So what do we do? 15 minus 10y equals 346 minus y. What do we do first? We're looking for y. Which one? Which one's bigger? Big rock or little rock? Which one's the little rock? The negative 10y or the negative 1y? The negative 1y is the what? Big rock or the little rock? Really? What would you rather have? Would you rather have? Um, would you rather lose ten dollars, or would you rather lose one dollar? I'd rather. You'd rather lose ten dollars. I'd rather lose one. So that that's less negative than the other one. Okay. No, no. You're confused because you didn't know how to get this. So here. I said negative one. Negative one is the bigger rock, not the smaller. Because negative one's closer to zero. That's right. Negative one is 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 a less negative solution. So what we're going to do is add ten y on both sides. Go ahead and add 10y on both sides, Yali. It's 345. 345, okay, 346, 345, 345. Okay, um, you add 10y on both sides, good. You get 15, and write it down low, low, 15, low, low. equals 345, plus what? We got minus 1y, plus 10y, what is it, Alara? Minus y plus 10y. I mean, Careful. 9y, that's right, she knows it, she just has to pay attention. There it is, we're almost there. What are we gonna do on both sides? We're trying to solve for 9y, but we got this big number in the way. What do we do on both sides, Adam? Uh, he's sleeping. Uh, Charlie? Charlie What? What do we do? What do we gotta get rid of? We the 9y, the y. No, we're solving for that. Yes, Raman's got it. We gotta get the 345. That's right, let's get rid of it. But we've got positive 345, so what do we do? Inverse we operation? Inverse, you gotta make negative 45. Ne negative 345 on both sides. Negative 345 on both sides. There you go, that's gonna cancel that. Off of there. 15 minus 345 is negative... 35. Negative 300. Three, no, negative 300 and? 30. No, yes, right. Negative 330, yes. Negative 330, let's do it over here. Good job. Let's really do a little hard. Negative 330 equals 9y. Negative 330 equals 9y. And now, to finish this off, to get it done, the finale, solving for y, what do we do on both sides? Divide Number by? Nine. nine. Number nine. Number nine, number nine. What's 330 divided by nine? It must be something easy. 36.4. 36 36.4? Yeah. Will it be negative? Yeah. Yes, it will be. Yes, it will be. I don't get that. You will. 